So at this point in time, I'd like to invite up our club president, Nasima, to give out the closing comments. So this has probably been a very, very long day for you all, so I want to thank you all for making it to the end. I felt that every single speaker um, had something to contribute, so we learned about so many issues today, um, from entrepreneurship, how to you know, follow your dream, to uh, learning about um, a story of one woman and how she, her story is being used to benefit women in another country. And then we had, of course, the amazing Cheryl Wudan, who told us all about the importance of educating girls and women worldwide. And then we had two great presentations on similar topics about um, speaking out about very difficult topics like sexual abuse and trafficking. But I'm glad that you all had the courage and the interest to listen to their stories. And hopefully you'll approach this topic in a different way and be a little bit more mindful of what you can do to contribute to that. Um, so this summit um, was titled Women in Leadership. And we hope that all of you um, men and women see yourselves as leaders now and see that there are ways that you can contribute to helping a lot of the issues that our speakers talked about today. And so we're very thankful that you all came and we hope that when you leave, it's not just an event that you came to. We hope it's something that triggers um, you know, an idea or it stimulates you know, a passion in you to follow whatever cause you feel is important to you. And we had our tabling groups here and we're thankful for those who are still here. Please make sure to um, go to their tables and learn more about what they're doing because they're providing you with opportunities to get involved in your community right now once you leave the door. Um, but this summit took over five months of planning and we would not be here today without some very key people. So I want to make sure that we acknowledge their support. Um, our sponsors, Dr. James Run, Safali Evans, and Jennifer Hightower from ASU's Educational Outreach and Student Services. They made this keynote possible. They helped us get this giant of room and help get the word out there. So it would never have been um, this amazing without them. And of course, Min Ahmed and Changemaker Central. Um, if you haven't heard of Changemaker Central, please make sure to visit that center. It's downstairs um, across from the um, info desk. And that's an amazing center where they can um, connect you as students and community members to ways that you can invest your ideas and get support and mentorship like Courtney was talking about. So they've been absolutely phenomenal in helping market and publicize this event. Um, our sponsors, because we love food, so thank you to Paradise Bakery, Dunkin' Donuts, Hungry Howie's, and Slick Wolves for donating food for our hardworking volunteers. And of course, our advisor, Heather Switzer, um, she's the one who allows us to even be on campus. So we thank her for supporting us as a club. So yes, round of applause for Heather Switzer. And our volunteers for being here very early in the morning to set everything up. Um, we really appreciate you taking care of all the tasks that we needed you to do. And of course, we're talking about leadership. I want to thank the rest of the speaker committee and my officers. Um, I'm a senior, so this is my last year here, and I'll be graduating in May. So they are the people, <laughs> I know, yay. <laughs> they are the people that I'll be handing over this club to, and they've done a phenomenal job of stepping up to the plate to um, help organize this type of event. Many of them are new to the club. They just joined this year. So to come on and have this large of event to work on, they've been great keeping up with all the emails I send them. <laughs> and everything we've been doing, you guys have done a great job. So um, I'm really excited and I'm very um, confident that you guys will do an amazing job next year. So please, a round of applause for all of them. So we have a little bit of time. Um, like I said, um, the tables are still here, so please make sure to take a look at them on your way out. Um, if you haven't made a donation, if you're um, able to and interested, we are collecting donations for the International Rescue Committee, and we're selling t-shirts outside. So thank you guys so much for spending your day here with us. We hope you've been empowered and inspired to uh, find ways to be a leader in your community, and we hope you have a great rest of your weekend.